Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 9, the Communication Center Free Play for LEGO Jurassic World. Rawr. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner, you do have a couple of requirements. If you're not following along story by story, video by video, then you will need the Velociraptor, but uh, you probably should have them by now. We're also going to get the uh, True Survivor all 10 mini kits and an amber brick in this level. So hold on, ladies and gents. Pick your characters, choose the communication center, and choose free play, and let's get to getting. Right off the bat, we smash a bunch of stuff off to the left-hand side, and we find a bunch of builder bricks, which will allow, that's right, our first mini kit. Look at that, we're not even 30 seconds into actual gameplay, and we've already got a mini kit, which is awesome. So uh, next, we're gonna work on the amber bricks, smash all the bits on the right side of this gate, which will give us the access over the top here and uh, use a character with the agility ability to flip over, of course. Once you get on the other side, you will see a raptor scent trail. Go ahead and select a Velociraptor, and uh, we'll follow the trail all the way down. Bunch of ankle bite and compy showed out, and uh, we'll go ahead and roar I'm a monster at him, and uh, take care of those guys right quick. And uh, once we get done, we can actually build up the bricks that we found from the scent trail, which actually give us a shock panel up top. We can switch on over to Barra, and uh, Barry will blast it with his electric blaster, and then it actually turns on the old garage sign. Shoot the target that appears when that happens, and it'll drop the amber brick. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, keep in mind, there is a blue right to the right of that doorway there, and uh, now we got to do some story bits. So uh, now's a good time for me to mention we do have quick links for all of the collectibles down below in the video description. So uh, that being said, you can skip along to all the mini kits or whatever. Uh, I guess that's all that's left in this video. We just got the amber brick. So anyways, we'll go ahead and choose our favorite dung diver for this video anyways and dive into that dino pile. This is kind of a funny moment here. Look, I grab the hook and put it on. And then I pull it, right, right, keep watching, keep watching. But wait, I still have a hook. I don't know what that's all about, but uh, it's kind of funny to me. And as you notice, it actually flashed and it respawned. Even though I used it, it's right there, it flashed and it's respawned now. It's flashing down the path there. So uh, we went ahead and got that open. Now we're going to go ahead and take out. There are three dino crossing signs you need to build up. So this is going to be mini kit number two. This is actually a fairly lengthy process. I, I won't lie. Uh, basically, we have to get through the garage, come out the garage. We have to attempt to use the pump. Then we have to get attacked. Then we have to... You'll see. It, it's a long process. Like, it's really simple. Oh, booyaka show. I got another perfect one. That's awesome. Out of all the videos we've done so far, I think that's like my second one, maybe? Maybe my first... I can't remember. Maybe my first one. But anyways, I successfully got that charged up. In fact, I think that was my first one. But right outside the door of the garage is going to be the second dino crossing sign. So make sure you build that guy up. Now, after this, the next one can be found right after we get the car fired up and we crash it off on the side. Now, I told you this is a lengthy one. So we got we tried to access the gas pump. We got attacked by the Raptor. Now we have to get our scream on and break the glass because we got to turn on the power to the pump. And uh, once we do that, we can go ahead and pump, 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 pump it up. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, all right, so inside, you can see the fuse panel is all busted up. We're going to go ahead and not only kick the ankle biters right in the face, but we're also going to go ahead and smash all the boxes in the back, which should give us the last couple of pieces needed in order to access this fuse panel here. And uh, there we go. And now we can go ahead and hit it. And, oh, blammo. Got it perfect again. It wasn't like on the first swoop through, but, man, I, I'm, I'm proud of myself. Proud of myself. My timing's getting better. We'll see. Look, look, he's even, even he's excited. I don't know. I think I might be more excited than he is, but uh, that's actually what I'm doing right now. I know you can't see me, but <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, we got power now, so let's go back and grab this hose. This sure seems like a, a rather stretchy hose. It reminds me of one of those, like, you know, uh, wrap-up hoses, the ones, you know, come in a box, and they, like, uncoil to get, like, 7,000 feet, and you turn the water off, and it all shrinks back up to, like, 6 inches. It's kind of what, what it reminds me of, except for this one's a little stiff, a little bit hard. Anyways, um, all right, so we're uh, we're all gassed up, ready to go, and all of a sudden our plan is foiled by a raptor, and we come falling out the side, which now we can finally get to that final dino exiting sign. So there we go, we got that. 
right next to that, there's a dark little path here. We're going to switch to a character that can give us ability to go there and grab mini kit number three. So, boy, we had a really long mini kit and then like a bam, another mini kit that was like you blinked and you missed it. So, you might have missed it. You might go back. We're, yeah. So uh, now here's another kind of lengthy part of the story where we're just kind of smashing and grabbing studs and making our way up. Uh, the next mini kit's going to be obviously mini kit number four. If you want to use the quick link, feel free to do so right about now. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and head to this photographic moment over here and uh, take a nice little Kodak moment with the Skeletor in the corner. And he's going to kick down with the key for our fee of taking those pictures. And once we open it up, we can see that it's got some glass that needs some high pitch volumes. We will scream our way till that shatters and uh, then build up the bricks, which actually gives us an ability, agility, ability wall. I messed that one up. My bad. And uh, once you get up there, go ahead and make your way all the way to the dino icon. Press the icon indicated, which will then allow you to walk out on the little ledge there. Now we got to switch characters while the other one's just hanging out for a minute. And then we'll make our way up and over. Now, a little fun fact, you want to make sure that you build this stuff up here for your other character instead of just continuing up, because you might find it to be problematic later, like your character won't follow or whatever. It might, it might, yeah. So, uh, anyways, we fight off the raptor. We're going to go ahead and switch to a character that can go into the darkness. I, for a second, fooled you by pulling out Nick, but we're going to switch to Ian, and, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and build these pieces up, which will give a ladder down below and give our guy access or our girl access to get up top there and we can hop on the old buddy boost icon and climb up the ladder with our other person jump up pull down the handheld that gives us some more bits that we can actually build up into a pole which we can then scale and get all the way up top once we get to the next little ledge here we find ourselves uh, around another raptor and we find another photographic moment so switch to your favorite cameraman and snap a couple pics That'll leave that raptor a little dazed and confused, and we can slip on through. And then we get all the way to the end here, and there's a bunch of bits we need to smash up to find the build-up bricks. And uh, I actually have a hard time smashing this, like, water pump or water, I don't know, heater, whatever it is in the back here. But uh, watch, I get it there, but then I'm like, cha-cha-cha, it's cha, cha, cha. Like, it takes me two or three attempts before I finally connect and get it good, but... Once you get all the pieces, it'll build a boinger. We can go ahead and get our boing on, get up top. But as soon as you grab that bluesy, you get attacked by a raptor. So I believe they call this area Raptor Tower. I could be wrong, but I, I think that's what's going down. All right, next we're going to switch on over to a character who can target things and also has the ability to use the old twirly poles. So we're going to switch to Lex. Now we have a hard time dropping off of that ability wall there. Um, it was weird, the agility ability wall. But uh, all right, so drop down and hit the target with the skeleton, and uh, you will get rewarded with the mini kit. So make your way all the way up top. We'll find a nice little glass case. We'll get our scream on one more time, which gives us a bunch of build it bricks. Which wait a minute, we don't want that yet. We want to smash the stuff in the corner, which actually gives us access to a mini door. So we'll go ahead and hit the button and switch on over to a little guy that'll allow access. And look at that little secret cubby hole here. Booyah kashow. Six mini kits in the bag. Use the mini door to go back up top. And uh, we will actually select a character that has a photographic ability. Choo -choo -choo -choo. Hey. Oh, I'm not sure where she came into the picture. But uh, all righty. We'll go ahead and build up those pieces that were there before. That'll complete the old, I don't know if we're going to call this the high hide, but it's very similar to the high hide. And uh, then there's another bunch of bricks that we can build up into a big old red button. Don't press the red button. Actually, do press the red button. All right. So what's going on here? We're waving to ourselves. Is this like Back to the Future stuff? Is this our past, past us waving to our present us? Did you notice that? Cinematic there was waving. Anyways. All right, so uh, most important thing about this is once you zip line down, you're actually going to want to make sure that you destroy the back right fan. And uh, we'll get to that uh, satellite dish thing here in a second. But the back right fan on the roof here gives us some bricks that come out. And look at that. Those are some, some familiar bricks, huh? We'll build those up for a mini kit. And then we'll switch on over to a character with a repair ability. We chose old Eddie Carr, and he can go ahead and fix this satellite here, which is actually the first of three that we're going to get before we hop on the chopper. 
So uh, hop on down this lower ledge, smash the other fan down here, and uh, build up the bricks that give us a little uh, a post to jump onto. Make sure you watch y'all step, though. There's some hungry, hungry hippos down below. Look at them jump up trying to get you. Woohoo! All right, made it all the way across. Look at that. There's another satellite right here, so we'll go ahead and fix that up right quick. And next, we'll make it around the corner, climb up the ladder, and you guys remember this moment. We're going to go ahead and pull a bunch of the shingles down, and they will, uh, or the roof pieces, whichever they're called. And uh, he will eventually go sliding on by. Raptor Surfing USA! Wee! All right, there he goes. We're going to grab the blue before we head all the way up. And there is a little bit of smashing and building up here that we're going to have to do. First, got to grab the old crank from the makeshift antenna there. It's weird that it had a red crank on it, huh? Go ahead and put that on there, though, and spin it up, and that gives us a nice little satellite bouncer pad. Go ahead and slide on down, and right there at the base, you can see the third and final little blue satellite that we'll fix up. And as soon as you do, it'll give you the mini kit. Right off to the right-hand side of that, too, there is a target, which conveniently Eddie Carr can blast away with his rifle. And uh, it'll actually r reveal three handhelds that you can climb up and, and slide on over, and you'll see the mini kit floating around up there. Now this part, be careful, because if you actually jump onto the helicopter pad, it could end the level for you. So be very careful dropping down there. And over on the right-hand side, there is another crowbar moment where you can pry the bars open and slide inside and grab the tenth and final mini kit. Go ahead and slide up to the helicopter pad, and as Arnold would say, get to the chopper. And that's going to go ahead and, uh, you know, complete the communication center free play. So... Pat yourselves on the back. We are almost done with the first two movies worth of free play, which would actually put us at the halfway point of the free playage. So, pretty sweet stuff. We got the True Survivor. We got all ten mini kits. What, what dinosaur is this? Oh, I know. I know which one that is. We'll find out here in a second for sure, though, because I'm, I'm not really positive. Oh, I would have totally got that wrong. I would have not called it that. But uh, it's a Vegasaurus, though, yeah? I'm pretty sure. All right, we got the True Survivor. We got the mini kits. A couple gold bricks for doing that. The return to the island flashing light there just means one thing, that it's time to wrap up LEGO Jurassic World, a level 9 communication center free play. We got all the collectibles, and uh, yeah. I don't know how about you, guys, how you guys feel, but I feel great about this. We're making good ground really fast. A lot of you guys have noticed how fast we're putting it out. We really appreciate your positive feedback. Speaking of feedback, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. We also have Instagram, G+, and Twitch, and uh, HappyThumbsGaming.com, of course. Duh -duh. And uh, we'd love to see you on any of those. We know not everybody partakes in all of those social networks, but if you could find yourself on one, uh, stop by and say hello. You never know. Uh, we surprise people all the time with uh, all sorts of uh, responses, comments, and uh, even sometimes stickers. So, uh, O to the A for me, I think that's it. I think I'm going to wrap it up. As always, until next time.